Alright, so in the last video, I showed you how to install XAM for Mac OS X. In this video, we'll go a little bit further down the road and explore more of XAM. So, XAM basically consists of a lot of things, uh, but primarily we'll be using uh, the three most uh, popular features that XAM is famous for. One is the Apache server. The second is the MySQL database. And the third is uh, PHP, which is a server-side language. Alright, so why do we need to use XAM? So many people have uh, known from their personal experience and they do know it that uh, Apache web server is not an easy thing to install, particularly for those people who are new to uh, all these things. And uh, <clears throat> So XAM uh, is a bundle that combines all these three things together and gives you one single setup that you can run on Windows, on Linux, on Mac OS X and it will install all these things for you seamlessly. So once everything is installed for you, uh, you need to, if, uh, if you are using a Mac, you need to go to your uh, applications folder and in your applications folder, you will see this XAM folder. Just double click on this. You'll see a number of folders, don't worry about it. This uh, exam control you see right here is this exam control which is running. As you can see currently I have Apache and MySQL on. The most important folder in this is the htdocs folder because it will contain all the files that we need to host a website. All the files that we will write, our images, our scripts, our HTML, our CSS, our coding, all of these things will go in this folder so that we'll be able to access it using a URL. So just to give you a brief example of what I mean by you can access your files using URL, I'll just uh, show you uh, some practical example of this. So we'll go into our htdocs folder and we see an .ico file called favicon.ico file. Now if I want to access this file from the browser and uh, it is running on my Apache server, I need to go to my browser, type localhost slash and you, need, and you don't need to give the uh, name of the folder as htdocs, you can directly write favicon.ico and it will display the image file for you. So it doesn't matter if you have a folder also and in that folder if you have the same file you can just go to the browser again so now we see that we have a temp folder over here and in that temp folder we again I just copy this file favicon.ic over here so if I go to localhost slash temp slash favicon.ico it will display me the same image but this time it is in the temp folder so we can create folders we can basically what whatever thing we put in this folder and we can access it uh, using a localhost slash and then the file name over here be it an mp3 file be it a video whatever it may be the next thing that I want to show you here is so this is uh, running on your uh, local machine so suppose uh, you are in a local area network and somebody else wanted to see uh, this image uh, which is there on your computer so instead of localhost you need to uh, replace this by your IP address so how to find your IP address if you're on a Mac go to terminal I have one open right here type ifconfig it will show you your IP address so currently my IP address is 172.16.5.150 so I'll just replace localhost by 172.16.5.150 and it's the same so if some if anyone in your local area network has this URL and if you have Apache running like this and if they paste this URL in their browser they will be able to see this exact same image in the browser all right guys so this is so this was a very basic introduction to exam if you have any issues or uh, any questions please leave them in the comments below I'd be more than happy to help you thanks a lot